I've been working with Function Points, uh, managing my vendors for about 14 years. Uh, we started back in the year 2000, uh, introducing Function Points as a, in our program to manage some of our vendors that we have. And it's been very successful, really, over that long time period. I think there's a lot to be said for doing it over a 14-year time period. So in my past experience, we've used function points for a number of service levels, uh, enhancement productivity, maintenance productivity, uh, defect density. Well, the benefits of using automated function points is that it's allowed us to expand our program and look at data more enterprise-wide and get that full picture of what, what do we really look like and are we improving or not improving? And it was very important in the beginning to not really concentrate on comparing different uh, applications or different areas, but just more to get a trend line of where were we and are we getting better? But if you're looking to expand your program, and you want to gather a larger base of data and you don't want to have to deal with uh, the manual counting procedure which is really interviewing a lot of developers and um, uh, scheduling meetings but you really want to deal with a more automated approach you definitely want to look at using CAST or a more automated approach to gathering that uh, those counts so that it saves your project team's time and uh, is a more consistent measure time over time. But if you don't have any measure or function points, you don't know how well you're doing.